Hi everyone, I'm Matthew's mom and I'm going to read Billy Blue Stuck in Goo by Jennifer Hamburg and Ross Burke. This is Billy, Billy Blue. Billy Blue is stuck in goo. Who will help him? Tell me who. Who'll unstick him from this goo? Would you? Yeehaw! I'll get you out real fast, declares a cowgirl riding past. She spins her rope around Billy's shin, then loses grip. And falls right in. Billy Blue stuck in goo, and now the cowgirl's stuck there too. What would you do? <clears throat> Behold our acrobatic troop. We'll pull, pull you from this gooey goop. We promise it will be a breeze. We even brought our own trapeze. They clutch the bar. They sling it back. Then in mid-swing, they hear a crack. Four acrobats, the cowgirl too, and sadly, still poor Billy Blue. The lot of them are stuck in goo. Just who'll unstick them, would you? Ahoy, me mateys, take a look. You're stuck in goo, I have a hook. They think the hook will help. Instead, the pirate plops in on his head. Four acrobats, the cowgirl too, the pirate, and poor Billy Blue. Quite a few now stuck in goo. What would you do? Ta-da! Your friendly wizard here and through my wizardly career, I've learned to make things disappear. I'll do that with this goo right here. No need to beg. I volunteer. A whack! A whoop! A doobly doo! E gods! It seems I've made more goo. Four acrobats, the cowgirl too, the pirate, and poor Billy Blue, and now a puzzled wizard who has somehow made two times more goo. So many stuck now. What to do? Who will rescue them? Would you? Hey dudes, it's Octo here to help. I've rescued fish, I've battled kelp. I've got eight arms, so grab one each. Then we'll go party on the beach. He reaches in, but then a blip. Who knew an octopus could slip? Four acrobats, the cowgirl too, the pirate, wizard, Billy Blue, plus now an octopus. It's true. All of them. Do-do-do-do. Hear ye, hear ye, it is I, the queen. I have come to do a queenly thing. My nobles, 17 and all, will get you out and they won't stall. The nobles take a flying leap, but end up in a gooey heap. Four acrobats, the cowgirl too, the octopus, the wizard who just conjured up a talking you, the pirate and the noble crew. And by the way, the queen's there too, though how that happened, not a clue. By now it really isn't clear that Billy will get out of here. As gobs of goo go squish and splat, he feels it's time to have a chat. Dear friends, how very kind of you to try and get me out of goo. I do admire all your pluck. Just thought I'd point out, I'm still stuck. The others spring to his defense. They do not want things to get tense. I'll use my rope. We'll swing some more. I'll call my friend the dinosaur. Kazim, kazoom, kazowie zat. The talking ewe is now part cat. Unruly goo, you stand no chance. Has anybody seen me pants? They push, they pull, they squeeze, they jerk. They dance a jig. It doesn't work. I guess that's it, says Billy Blue. Get used to living in this goo. There's nothing more that we can do. Unless a miracle. Achoo! A tiny mouse then scampers by and catches Octo's watchful eye. That's all it takes. One sneezy squeak. The octopus says simply. Eek! He leaps out from 
from the gooey goop and snags the acrobatic troop who grab the cowgirl and the queen who nabs her crew, all 17, who lift the pirate, wizard too, and last but not least, Billy Blue, who finally is out of goo. But look, oh no, he lost his shoe. We'll get it. This is Billy, Billy Blue, the only one not stuck in goo. What would you do? Thank you for listening to my story and have a good literacy week. Bye.